We were talking about last night's lip service. We're doing a little recap this morning mm -hmm. of you on the show. Right. And um, we're talking about whether or not you go hard, harder now. Right. Now, what's your, do you think, because we, we discussed this and you said that, you know, after the whole incident with Rick Ross, you either have, you have a choice. Okay. Right. Either you, you know, go away in embarrassment, shame, or you come back and go harder. Joey Correct. said there's a third option. Right. Right, Joey? Before what is the third option? Definitely a third option. The third option would always be to, in retrospect, assess the situation mm -hmm. and try to do something differently while still doing your, your craft. No, it wouldn't be either I'm going to run, hide, and not show my face, or I'm going to go harder than I did before. So. That wouldn't just be it. Right? DJ no? Glad? Um, you know, I mean, I guess it just depends on what you look at it and what you really define as going harder. You know, I kind of felt, you know, as a journalist, which is what I am, because a lot of people, I think, really put me in the DJ category still, because I'm really known for the mixtapes. But, you know, I've I directed American Gangster for BET this season. I got a major movie out and so forth. And I really do a lot of video shit. And I really consider myself a very serious journalist in terms of what I do. And I felt that whole situation centered around me being a journalist and putting certain information out in the world. And, and I'm not going to back down from being a journalist because someone may not like what I have to say. Okay. Uh, fair enough. And now the other thing, DJ Vlad, that we were discussing up here is, um, you know, I know that you can't really discuss, discuss this because of the ongoing lawsuit, but uh, Joe Button was also saying that he, it feels like there's more things that happen behind the scenes than what we know about, which there probably are, but we'll find out about that, I'm sure, once everything unravels. No, hold on for two seconds. Okay. Two seconds, He's looking something seconds. up online, so hold on for two seconds. Journalist. I'm on dictionary.com. <laughs> this is what we help for? Journalist. Because I, I, I need to understand, I need to just make sure that my definition is correct. A person who practices the occupation or profession of journalism. A person who keeps a journal, diary, or other record of daily events. Vlad, with that being said, you think that whole Joe Button and Ransom shit was you practicing journalism? Yeah, I think it is. Absolutely. What's your opinion, that's, Joe Button? That's not journalism, Vlad. That's not journalism. That's more like Us Weekly gossip bullshit. It's not journalism. It's, 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 it's more like a, a fucking insult to, to even call it that. That's not <laughs> journalism. The thing, the thing with Vlad TV is that it's not a blog like a like a Perez Hilton. I don't get on there and give opinions over. I think so and so is an asshole, or you know, I'm going to put like little smiley faces around people and give my opinion about stuff. Vlad never really goes in front of Vlad TV and gives his opinion. The only thing that Vlad TV does, and there's a crew of about ten people that work on it, is actually report and show video as it happens. We don't really put a lot of our opinion in it. It's really a platform, more so than anything else. And it's a platform for both sides, because best believe Joe Button has been featured on Vlad TV a lot. And has gotten millions of viewers. As a matter of fact, Joe, we did an interview where we went over. And, I remember. You know, it, was, it was a five-part interview. We put on all hip-hop and so forth. And there was really no opinions in there. It was a person speaking what it is. And that's what Vlad TV is. It's a platform. But, but a platform for what? is the question that you have to ask yourself. If two if two black guys start calling each other nigger and shoot each other in the fucking eyes or some crazy shit, it's up to channel five or nine whether they're putting that particular story on the news, correct? That is correct. So still, Vlad TV is to be held accountable for the things that Vlad TV puts up. So now, I I know you, like I said before you called in, me and you speak on BlackBerry, me and, me and you, I've been yeah. on Vlad TV. You're yeah. not, you're f the furthest thing from stupid. You're you're much brighter than Thank the you. people that, that are I, on I, Vlad TV. Wait, 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 hold up. You're much brighter than the people that are on Vlad TV. Much brighter. You're much brighter than Ransom and all the idiots that were on that video. You're much brighter than a lot of people I see on this. So you already know what you are doing when you put a camera in front of these people. You know what's happening. You know what the fucking response will be. You know what you are initiating. You know the part that not DJ Vlad, but Vlad TV is playing. Vlad TV is now the only outlet that will showcase the bullshit. 
because no one else will. Or at, let me take that back. Let me take that back. World Star will, and a few other places that capitalize off black niggas being ignorant will showcase it. Okay. No. So you're not to be held accountable for that. And if well, we well, take well, that and put it on, is that what we're going to call journalism? Okay. Well, well so hold hold on a second, Joe. So you're going to tell me that what Vlad TV put up was a lot different than what Joe Budden TV put up in front of Applebee's, where Joe Budden is claiming to have just beaten someone down and saying that we're going to do Joe Budden TV inside your living room. And, you know what I mean? Like, I got the video and threatening to expose it. What is the difference between Joe Budden TV, that segment, and Vlad TV? The difference is I'm embarrassed by the video on Joe Budden TV with me acting like a fucking buffoon and an ignorant ass nigga. That that is the difference. It's not something that I'm embracing or that I'm that I'm running around trying to showcase. It's me on my own shit acting ignorant and acting like an idiot. And on the very next episode of Joe Button TV, I'm sure you saw it, I apologize for that ignorance. That's the difference. Right. right. And and all that was posted on Vlad TV. The whole the whole gamut of it. You know, we never you, know, you totally LGBT. skipped over everything I just said. I know Vlad TV posted all that. I get the, the BlackBerry emails. You totally skipped all the good shit that I just said. What? But more importantly than that, you know what my question be to niggas like you? To to you like, not niggas like you, to you. Mm. Like, like you put up the, the clip of Rand going to this nigga house and, and smacking him, right? Now, 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 in a hypothetical world, because, of course, when I'm not speaking reality at all. None of what I'm about to say is going to happen. Nobody is thinking about it happening. Now, what if niggas go to Rand House and shoot him and his daughter? What if niggas do that? Then what? Then it's not funny no more, right? Then you're not on. Then it, then you're not on Vlad TV posting the things that you're posting, and World Star's not doing it. Then all of these outlets that are putting this up there and getting all these millions of views, nobody's posting anymore because niggas is dead. I mean, Joe, I don't think any of this stuff is funny. I think all this stuff is very serious. Would you do a Vlad TV from Rand's funeral? Yes or no? Would I do a Vlad TV at Rand's funeral? Possibly. Okay. Possibly. All right. That, you know what I mean? As, that, as for, that, that for journalism, it for me. well, um, I mean, this is an interesting debate because I look at all these videos of, you know, soldier, these people rob Soldier Boy, they went up in his house and then they do a video mm -hmm. about it. And then right. other people rob this person. Here's a chain. You know, mm -hmm. is it too much or do we need to see that? No, you know, what people need to understand is, and this is why I said to, said to Vlad that he's not stupid. He's actually very bright. And there's a bunch of people, you, myself, there's a bunch of people that are very bright. Some people like the, uh, in the masses are not so bright. What people need to understand is that there's a difference between the show and real life. A lot of times what you see when you go online and you log on and you go to these websites or you listen to these rappers talk, honestly, Saigon doing all that shit, flexing his muscles, flashing the money, showing his cars, townhouse, it's a fucking show. It's for the fans. It's not for me. It's not to intimidate Joe Budden, Mob Deep. It's for the fans who have a certain perception of him and he's trying to sway it either in one way or another way. The whole Rand shit, Joe Budden TV, Joe Budden TV is not for that. It's not for that at all. But uh, fucking... When you see Soldier Boy talking about uh, Nas killed hip hop, certain shit is a show. It is not real. This ransom shit was real. Very, very real. So we need to treat it as such. And I personally do not think that you pull that camera out at Ransom's funeral. I doubt it. I will put money on it. I don't think so. Because that's not journalism. And there's nothing, it's nothing, uh, there's nothing happy to report about that. I was at Stack Bundle's funeral. There were no cameras in there. It was a bunch of upset niggas crying. I don't think a nigga pulls a camera out. You'll think twice about that. So, I mean, people just need to step back and, and take a look at what they, what they are clicking on and what they are commenting on. Like, certain shit is cool. Certain shit is fun. Certain shit is, hey, hey, look at this nigga. Bitch ass nigga, faggot ass nigga. Oh, he's a punk. Certain shit is not. So the same way Ran and all the idiot niggas that ran to that nigga's doorstep is to be held accountable for it, Vlad and Worldstar and all the bullshit outlets that promote this bullshit is to be held accountable for it. Because when a nigga die, you're not going to promote it.